Hi, I'm Ned from Magic of Wheels. I am servicing Swiss Movement ETA 2836. From previous video, I have problem with balance wheel. So I'm gonna replace it, regulate the watch, and finish with casing up. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. I'm not a professional, I'm a hobbyist. From previous video, I have problem with balance wheel. It's not running properly. I'm gonna remove the balance complete and see what happens. Off camera, I had a look at the hairspring and found out it was bent. I decided to change new hairspring and regulate the watch. Here is the new hairspring. Sorry, I have to fit this off camera. Once finished, I give it a thorough cleaning, take away all the particles and smudges. I will fit the balance complete and I will regulate the watch. Sorry, I have to regulate the watch off camera. After regulating, now let's see the reading on the time grapher. On average, the rate is minus 6 seconds per day. I'm happy with the result. Now, let's move on to the next step. Before I install the hands, I always check the function of the watch. I am checking the function of day date change at midnight. Let's install the hands. Start with the hour hand. I am using hand setting tools from Horotech. Once the hand is fitted, I always clean the smudges and any other particles. Then I'm checking the operation and also making sure the day date change at midnight. Next is the minute hand. I have to be very careful and also always check for the alignment. I repeat the same process. Once the hands are fitted, then cleaning. Now I'm checking for the operation of day day change at midnight. Next is the second hand.
exactly the same process. Once hands are fit, then clean and check for the operation. Now I'm cleaning the dial before cast up. Let's prepare the case. I dab off the dust and any other tiny particles. I am taking off the winding stem. Let's work on the winding stem and crown. I'm using pin vise from Bergeron to remove the crown from the stem. I am using Loctite to lock the crown and the stem together. Once finished, I give the direct cleaning to the stem and put some lubrication. I'm using Mobius 9504. Now I'm ready to fit the crown and the stem. The movement is held onto the case by two case clamps, which I am refitting them now. Now, I am preparing the expedition back case. I'm using polywash to clear up the snow loin.
and I do the same on the other side. I'm using vertical to remove all the dust from the case back. I decided to use new gasket. I apply silicone grease onto the gasket for better action. Last cleaning and it's good to go. I'm using the case holder to hold on to the watch. I always be extra careful on this step because I don't want to leave any scratches on the watch. I do the final checkup. I'm checking quick set data change function. Time setting with hacking function. And data change at midnight. I'm using CapCut to polish the watch. My intention is not to remove the scratches, but just to polish the watch. I'm putting back the bracelet and that's all done with me servicing the watch with Swiss Movement ETA 2836 please feel free to put on your comment below thank you for watching when passion and hobby collide I'm Nick from Magical Views